Hi, I'm Shelton from Canon Medical Systems. MRI is complex, but simple explanations behind the latest MRI methods are always good to know. Sometimes MRI is not so much about imaging soft tissues and anatomy as it is about visualizing the vasculature, in particular arteries. There are two primary ways to do that, either using an injection of a gadolinium-based contrast agent or not. Today, Let's talk about non-contrast agent MR angiography for two minutes. Non-contrast MR angiography does not require an external injection of contrast agent, but uses intrinsic properties of the flowing blood to offer nice images of the vasculature and a variety of anatomical locations. There are many different ways to achieve this, such as time of flight or phase contrast, but let's focus today on recent 3D techniques named fresh blood imaging, or FBI, flow spoiled FBI, and time spatial labeling inversion pulse, or time slip. FBI is a cardiac gated 3D T2 weighted acquisition that exploits the difference in blood signal intensity between systolic and diastolic cardiac phases. During systole, the rapidly flowing arterial blood loses signal intensity through dephasing and disappears from the image. If subtracted from the same image acquired during diastole, when everything is bright, then only the arterial signal remains. Extending this technique further, flow spoiled FBI uses imaging gradients to spoil or suppress the signal from slower flowing blood. This technique can be especially useful in the lower extremities or other pathologic areas where arterial blood flow is slower and needs a little help being suppressed during systole. Time slip is a totally different approach. Using a 3D steady state free procession or a fast spin echo readout in which blood is typically bright. Time slip works by first applying a selective pulse that suppresses signal from everywhere in the 3D volume. After a short delay, fresh arterial blood flows into the volume and it's captured as the only bright thing in the image. This technique can also be coupled with an additional saturation band below the imaging volume to prevent bright signal from venous blood from flowing into the image volume from the opposite direction. If you want more information about either of these non-contrast MRA techniques or how they're used in practice, then click on the link and download the attached Good to Know document. You'll find additional information, answers to some questions from the field, user tricks, and best practices. And if you like this video, hit subscribe to stay tuned for more simple explanations that are good to know.